morning and welcome to episode 5 of the Eastside Extra. We have a lot of great things planned for this episode of the Eastside Extra. Dude, you know what I was thinking? What? Would make this show even better? What? A logo. But dude, I already have one. Do you? Where? <laughs> Yikes. Not really like that, but if any of our loyal, wonderful, smart, kind, cool, that should be good, viewers would like to participate in a competition to create our Eastside Extra logo and win a special prize. Come up with a digital design of the new show and email it to us at goedtechgo at gmail.com. We're looking for a simple design with school colors and just the name, the Eastside Extra. We need your submissions by 9-15. September 15th. And now, this week's Eastside Extra. Hey Lions, I'm Jeanette and I'm a part of the admin side of the Eastside Extra. I'm here to give you an important and serious update about this month. As many of you may not know, this month is Suicide Prevention Month and we ask for your complete and undivided attention. Hi there, my name is Mrs. Weston. I'm one of the counselors here at Eastside High School and this month is Suicide Prevention Month. We want all of you to know that we have a wonderful team of people here that can help you if needed. So remember, take two for suicide prevention. That's it for this week's update on the admin side of the Eastside Extra. Make sure you guys tune in each week to get more updates about Eastside and remember to take two. Good morning, Lions, and welcome to this week's activities news here at Eastside. Have you already purchased your yearbook? If you haven't, they can still be purchased in the student store during A or B lunch for $65 until January 1st, so hurry and get yours now before prices are raised to $70. Attention seniors, if you haven't already, please take your senior portraits before mid-December. Now here's some news from ASB. Hey, hey Lions. Lions, ASB will be hosting an outdoor movie night Friday, September 10th at 6.30 at the amphitheater. We will be showing Spider-Man Homecoming. Make sure to bring your IDs. No IDs equals no entry. Make sure to dress comfortably and snacks will be sold. See you there. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching Eastside Activity News. We'll see you next time. Welcome to this week's student support segment. There isn't much for this week, but as always, some quick reminders. Tutoring will be in the library from 3 to 4 p.m. Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Mr. Garen and Ms. Fiss will be there to help you with any homework needs. Hi, I'm Mr. Garen. Um, tutoring this year is super easy. We're here Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 3 to 4 p.m. To sign in, all you guys have to do is come, check in with a tutor. It might be me, maybe Miss Fisk, maybe another teacher. They'll sign you in, give you a little pink card that shows how many times you get help during the period. And then you sign out at the end of it whenever you're ready to leave or whatever's 4 o'clock. And then you go on with your day. Once again, Ms. Carissa in the Activities Department in the office will happily accept any road cards and you may even win the grand prize. This month we will be focusing and practicing on the A4S Fire in Roar. Even though this pandemic has unmotivated us and we all let ourselves go, it's important to remember to not let go of your strong ambitions or hope to achieve that big goal or dream of yours. What do you plan to do after high school? Um, I guess I plan on uh, doing anything that has to do with acting or performance. Even in college, I'll go to a art school, preferably performing arts, and um, maybe go to New York City and perform Broadway there. Okay, so what I want to do after high school is hopefully get into university and work towards being a, becoming a sports med physician. After high school, I want to become an animator because People on the internet really inspired me to create animation. Once I graduate high school, I really want to be inside of an art college and learn how to animate and work for Disney or any animation company. Keep pushing yourself forward, Lions, and don't give up. Thanks for tuning in to this week's student support segment. Hello, my name is Katie Munoz, and welcome to this week's Academy News. Last week, the Biomed Juniors did an elemental flame lab in Dr. Hall's class. The students had to determine an unknown element by comparing the colors of different flames. Also in Cleveland's class, Biomed Juniors started their serial dilution lab in order to continue their investigation into an outbreak of a mysterious infectious disease. 
the Avid Academy would like to remind everyone about wearing college gear on Wednesdays and Eastside colors or merch on Fridays. So make sure to show your Eastside pride. Thanks for watching this week's Academy News. See you guys next week. This was one busy week for all sports and athletes. Where do we begin? Girls Volleyball is in full gear now and they have played against Lancaster AV and Courts Hills team. Here are some clips from the huge winning game at AV last Thursday. Girls tennis practice began last week and they're getting ready for their first game on September 14th. If you're interested, please go and talk to Coach Gray in room 129. Girls golf is getting into full swing now and be having their second game at Rancho Vista tomorrow, September 9th. They're still looking for new recruits, so if you're interested, you can email Coach Mahan yourself at tmahan at avhsd.org. I don't think it's news to anyone at this point that Eastside just had their first big game against Big Bear. I was going to go out and ask uh, who was going to the game, you know, see who was interested, but I think my question was answered pretty dramatically. As you can see, it looks like our Lions are excited for the big game. We can't wait to see what happens. Actually, let's play it now. We hope to see some of you Lions at our next game, and that's all for Athletics this week. See you next time. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of the Eastside Extra. And a special shout out to Miss Wallace for winning Teacher of the Month. Well, in all fairness, it was a short month, so we can see why she won. <laughs> Anyways, have a great day, everyone.